All right, so lesson 104 is my algebraic addition activity. So I'm going to go through the four steps or the four levels uh, to remind you what those were. So my first level was just with positive and negative signs. Now, if you remember, positive and negatives cancel each other out. So I'd cancel each other, the positives and the negatives. So I'd cancel those two would be zero, those two would be zero, and those two would be zero. So I'd end up with two positives left over. And that'd be my answer. On this one, we added numbers. So what we're going to do first is we're going to combine the negative numbers and we're going to combine the positive numbers. So I end up with negative seven, okay, and, and positive four. Ooh. Now I can combine those two to see what my answer is. Now, if I, my negative number is bigger, as it is in this case, I know my answer will be negative, because I have more negative numbers. So negative seven plus four is going to equal negative three. Okay. And I know it's negative because I have more negative numbers. Okay, on this next step level, we need to get rid of the disguises of our numbers. And that's where we have so many extra signs and it gets confusing. So if you remember, these are examples of positives and examples of negatives. So if I have two negatives next to each other, they fight out and they become a positive. Okay, two negatives become a positive. If I don't have any sign, that's also a positive. And if I have two positives, that's also a positive. With the negatives, remember, if I have a negative and a positive right next to each other, the negative always wins, okay? Negative and positive next to each other, the negative wins. Negative and positive, negative wins, etc. okay? So here I just have a couple different ones. Uh, this three here, if I was to change it, it would be uh, become a positive three, okay? With this neg minus a negative five, I have two negatives right next to each other. Okay, when I have two negatives next to each other, they become a positive. So that one's going to be positive five. If I have a negative and a positive next to each other, however, the negative always wins. So I'm going to end up with a negative four. Again, negative and positive next to each other. Negative always wins, so we get a negative two. Now I can combine them. I'm going to combine my positives and my negatives. So I end up with positive 8 minus 6. Okay, because I have 4 and negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. So now I can say, okay, well, my answer will be positive because positive 8 is greater than 6. Positive 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 or positive 2. All right, so this last level is doing all of those steps to solve problems that look like this. So I need to make it so I, I can undisguise this problem. So the first number is going to stay the same. It's just going to be a negative two. Okay, next I have a negative and positive. So what, does, what wins? The negative always wins. Then I put my three. I have a negative and a negative. They fight and become a positive number and my four, and then I have a negative and a positive together, and negative always wins, so it becomes a negative, and I have my five, okay? So now I'm gonna combine like terms, so I'm gonna combine the negative numbers, so I have negative two plus negative three is negative five, plus negative five is negative 10, so I have negative 10, and all I have left is plus four. So I know my answer will be negative because there's more negatives than positives. And now I can think, oh, okay, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Uh, easy way to do this is you can think, okay, well, what's 10 minus 4? 10 minus 4 is 6. And then I know my answer is negative because the negative is bigger. So my answer would be negative 6. Let's do another one. So here I have negative 3 plus a positive 2 minus a positive 5 minus a negative 6. Now what helps me is if I drop the numbers down first. So I have 3, 2, 
5, and 6. And now I can figure out what goes in between. Well, this first one, I don't have anything else but the negative, so it's just going to be a negative 3. Then I have plus a positive, so that's going to be a positive. Then I have minus a, po minus a positive. Remember, the negative always wins. Then I have two negative signs, which become a positive sign. Two negatives make a positive. Other than that, a negative will always win. Okay. Let's combine like terms. So we have negative 3 and negative 5. So we have negative 8 plus, and I have 2 plus 6 is 8. So negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. Last example. Here we have 3 minus a negative 5 plus a negative 4 minus a positive 2 plus a positive 8. Again, I'm going to drop my numbers down first. So 3, 5, 4, 2, and 8. Now I'll figure out what goes in between. If I have two negatives together, that becomes a positive. Positive and negative, the negative always wins. It's a negative. Negative and a positive, negative always wins. A negative. And then a positive and a positive, which is a positive number. Let's combine our like terms. We have a positive 3 plus 5, so that's 3 plus 5 is 8, and this is a positive. Is 8 plus 8 is 16, so I'm left with a positive 16, okay, minus 4, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So positive 16 minus 6, my answer will be positive, because the positive is bigger. So 16 minus 6 is equal to 10, or positive 10. Okay, and that's all. Good luck on your homework.